Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials. I am your host Richard Evans and today we're going to be taking a look at the import media function. Now I've kind of glanced over it a little bit in previous videos but I want to be a little more specific today and show you why it's important and why it's so powerful. Let's take a look. So first things first, let's go ahead and set ourselves up a brand new session. So I'll just call this one import media. All right. So let's go ahead and start live production. So I can't tell you how many times I've been in the field using a TriCaster, doing my camera switches, bringing in DSKs, taking direction from my director, and then someone comes up, taps me on the shoulder, hands me a USB thumbstick and says, bring this into your broadcast, I need you to play this before I go on stage. I have no idea how big that video is, I have no idea how it was encoded, even, I don't even know what software it was made to uh, make that video. The nice thing is, import media function doesn't care. It will copy that over from that thumbstick, bring it onto the local drive, and transcode it into a file-friendly format for you to play within your productions. So let's take a look. Okay, so here we are in our brand new TC1 session, and let's go ahead and find that file. So we'll go to File, Import Media, and click on Add, and let's go navigate to my thumb drive here. So I have it under Import This File. Boom. All right, and that is Rex in Effects. I, again, I don't know what this file is. I don't know how big it is. I don't know where it came from. So uh, what we can do also in import media is at the bottom of the screen, you'll see I have a checkbox that I can select to say add clips to DDR1 or DDR2. I'll keep that in DDR1. And if there's still files, I could have them distributed to a completely different bin over to say DDR2 or one of my graphics bins. But since I only have the one file here, I'm just going to keep it on DDR1. Now keep in mind, you can import a ton of different files uh, all at the same time without changing uh, anything on your production. You can still be doing your switching, etc., and not have that affected. So let's go ahead and bring in this file here. Let's do a quick, fast import. Okay. Now our file has been imported, and as you can see, it has been distributed over to our DDR1 bin. So let's go ahead and play that on your program real quick. Go ahead and take that live to DDR1. And there's Rex in effect. Very, very nice. Okay, so now that we have this file imported, what I also want to show you is you can also bring in this particular file into a different session. So I can go ahead and give that thumb drive back to whoever had it the first time and then move this file over to a different session. And we'll start up a brand new one here and we'll call this import media to electric boogaloo. All right. Okay, so here we are in our new session, and while this session was loading, I went to the back of my TriCaster and simply removed that USB drive here, just to show you that I can access this from another point. So instead of going over to File and Import Media, we don't need to do that, because we've already transcoded it into that previous session. So we can simply go to our Add in our DDR bin, and we'll say, let's make a new media location. So we'll navigate to our file extension here, so it'll be on my D drive, we'll go to Sessions, we'll find Import Media, go to Clips, and Import. So now you can see in this media browser, under My Media Locations, I now have a new place to go. I can go straight to this Import uh, folder from this particular session. And there it is, there's Rex in effect. So as you can see, Import Media is a very powerful tool that not only transcode your files, but also copies them over to your local drive for you to use in any session as you wish. So if you like this particular demonstration but want a little bit more, make sure you go to newtech.com demo to sign up for a personalized demonstration, and I'll show you all the ins and outs of our TC1 systems. Until then, thank you for watching, and be sure to tune in next time for another edition of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials.